Hey, today I'm going to be showing you how to play the Buster Now Online Weekend Mode using the Breaking In Server Emulator and PCSX2. The first thing you'll want to do is download and install the latest version of PCSX2 from the website. At the moment it's 1.4.0. Then you need to get the USA PS2 ROM of The Sims Buster Now. You can either dump this from your disc or get it elsewhere. Next, you need to download this Dev9 network plugin for PCSX2 as it's crucial for connecting to the game servers. Once it's downloaded, navigate to the PCSX2 folder and drag the plugin into the plugins folder. You can also get this keyboard plugin which makes it a lot easier to type in game, but this is optional. Again, drag it into the plugins folder. With the plugins installed you can now open PCSX2 as admin and go through the setup process. Make sure that you've picked the same Dev9 and USB plugins as shown on the screen. After this you need to select a USA BIOS. The BIOS files aren't included with the program. When the setup is done, two windows will appear. Now we're going to go through the settings in order to make the game run properly. So go to config, dev9, plugin settings and then click options. Next, untick the two boxes that say auto and copy and paste the DNS from the description into the two fields. Lastly, click apply. Next, to make the game run smoothly, go to config, video and then plugin settings. Change the renderer to direct 3D 11 and then you want to enable hardware hacks, then click configure hacks and tick the box that says half pixel offset. After this, just press OK. Then go to config, video and then window settings. On the game fixes tab, enable manual game fixes and then tick the skip MPEG hack option and click apply. This stops the game from crashing when you start it. Lastly, find the .iso of the ROM you downloaded earlier and load it into the program. You can finally start up the game by going to system and then doing a fast boot. However, you do have one more thing to deal with and that is how you're going to control the game. If you're going to use your keyboard, go to config, controllers and then plugin settings. Then you'll have to clear all the default bindings and set each button to a key on your keyboard. But if you're using an actual controller like a PlayStation or Xbox controller, you should be able to plug it in and the default bindings will work fine. You may need to run PCSX2 through Steam by adding it as a non-Steam game if your controller doesn't work. This is because Steam's controller support fixes a lot of issues. For me, this fixes my controller. So we have the controls done and the game open. We can start, right? Well, we have to complete the prologue first. Luckily this only takes a couple minutes. After selecting Bust Out on the menu, you can create your sim. You are able to change your character's clothing later on, however if you want to change gender, face, that kind of stuff, you'll have to make a new save file. So now I've created my character, we're ready to go through the prologue. As I said, it doesn't really take too long. Afterwards you just want to go on the menu and click save and quit. When you get back to the menu, there's now the online weekend button. Load your save file and then accept the agreement. The next thing we have to do is set up a network configuration file. It'll then take you to this broken network settings page. To get through this, press X a couple times and then go right on the D-pad until it says you can save the file. Once it's saved, you can test your network if you like, but it's not necessary. And then it will take you back to the main network menu. From there, just press circle to get out. Afterwards, the game will restart itself. And when you go back online, it will let you select your newly created network configuration file. Once it is connected to the online servers, you will then be prompted to make an account. When you're creating your account, only the account name matters. The email and passwords don't get used. And you can also see now why the keyboard plugin you may have installed earlier is very handy. You can put anything you want for the passwords as they aren't used when you log in, just make sure the two boxes match. Again like the passwords, the email doesn't matter, so just put anything you want as long as it follows the format of an email. Finish off the account creation by pressing X on all the options and then your account will be saved. 
Then it will take you to the login screen where you can just enter your name and any password and it will let you through. Then make a persona, you can use any name you want. Finally, you'll get to the lobby select menu. Don't expect there to be too many people, so invite your own friends. You can only chat in the lobbies, so if you want to get in game, invite another player to your house. You can do this by pressing X on their name in the lobby. When you're in game, you can still chat by pressing L3 and then typing out a message. You can also interact with each other. This multiplayer mode is basically the same as single player, but your friend is there. And that overall wraps up how you install and play The Sims Bus Now Online Weekend. Hopefully, this tutorial has made sense and has been helpful. However, if you do have any problems with running the game, don't be afraid to go to the FreeSO Discord and ask for help. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you later.